Welcome to this shamanic journey to meet your power animal. Begin by finding a comfortable posture and allowing the eyes to close. Open up your awareness to the sound of drums. Feel the beat, the pulse, the sound moving through your body. Experience the sound fully. Let the breath come naturally. There is no need to pay any attention to it. Relax your entire body, coming back to the sound of the drums. This ancient sound is as old as the earth itself, like the heartbeat of the earth. All other sounds fade away now. All you hear is the sound of my voice and the beat of the drums. It's becoming part of you. You find yourself standing at the top of a steep hill staring out into the landscape before you. The sun is beating down on the valley below and a glorious vision is there before you. You're at the top of a large waterfall and the spray from it is settling lightly on your skin. You start to walk down the hill looking at the lush green grass and dandelions around your feet. There might be some small meadow animals running about, going around their daily business. If you notice them, simply acknowledge them and keep making your way down the hill, feeling the cool air on your skin and hearing the sound of nature all around you. You reach the flat land below. You see the entrance to the waterfall in front of you. The light reflecting off it is creating rainbows in the air. This is the portal we'll be passing through to enter the inner realms. There are five flat grey stones leading up to the entrance of the waterfall and you start to step across them. One, two, three, four, five. You step through the waterfall and into the cave behind it. This cave smells like the damp earth and you can hear the soft fall of the waterfall outside. You see the cave leads downwards and you start walking down this path which leads into the earth. Down you walk, deeper and deeper into the darkness of the cave. There is a natural light which seems to be coming from the end of the cave so you have no fear. You continue on your journey towards the light up ahead. When you step out into the light, notice how the landscape has changed. Ahead of you is a large clearing. In this clearing is a bonfire and lots of round stones are laid out around it in a giant circle. There is a flat wide bench just inside the circle and a few meters from the fire and you walk over to the bench and take a seat. It's time to start calling in your power animal now. Many animals of all shapes and sizes start to walk towards the outside of the circle. See them coming in one by one and standing on the outer edge of the circle. You are perfectly safe and you feel no fear. Look at each animal in turn. What animal is there? Each one has a gift or a talent. They all have their own special wisdom to share. From the largest elephant to the smallest mouse, each one of them is special and sacred. Simply watch them as they form this circle around you. Do you feel drawn to any of the animals in particular? Now, I want you to ask your power animal, this spirit guide, to step forward into the circle with you now. You wait now for your power animal to step forward and join you. Welcome this animal into the circle with you, for it may have been waiting for you for some time. You need not fear, just be grateful that this animal has chosen to join you today. What animal is with you in your circle? Simply share the space with this guide. Feel the energy of the animal and allow it to feel yours. Get comfortable being with your power animal. 
has your energy changed being around them? What has it shifted to? Ask who it is, talk with it, listen to it. Does it have a gift for you or maybe some wisdom? How can you be more like your spirit animal? What qualities does it possess you'd like to bring into your life? Be open to anything it wants to say or do with you. Ask if there are any skills it would like to pass on to you. If it does, simply allow it to touch you and transfer these to you. Let's stay here with your power animal for a short while, then I will guide you back to your reality. We are leaving our spirit animal for now, but before we do, ask it if it has a gift for you to carry with you. You can then tap into this gift whenever you need it. This could be a crystal or a symbol, whatever it is, accept it with love and gratitude. Now place one hand on your power animal by way of goodbye and let it leave the circle be with all of the other animals. You watch them walk away from the circle, one by one, and fade into the distance. Your power animal is the last one to leave, and it looks back at you one final time before it walks away, letting you know it's always here for you whenever you may need it. You step out of the circle and start walking back towards the cave. Before you enter the cave, you turn to look at the bonfire, which is still burning and will always be a meeting ground for you and your power animal whenever you need it. You step back into the cave and walk upwards towards the waterfall. Still traveling upwards, the waterfall starts to come back into view and you step through it and onto the stepping stones. You count them as you step across. One, two, three, four, five. Then you start to walk back up the hill, looking around as you do, and feeling the spray land gently on your skin from the waterfall. Are the creatures still playing here? Is it daylight or has it become darker now? Time can move differently in other realms. You make your way to the top of the hill and lie down in the lush green grass at the top of it. The sound of the drums start to drift away now. A 
and the sounds of your normal reality began to seep in. How is your energy feeling now? Can you still feel your connection with your power animal? If you ever feel the connection grows weaker, or you wish to meet other power animals, we can have more than one spirit guide. You can return to this meditation. For now, however, it's time to return to your normal reality. So start to gently move your fingers and toes, bringing awareness back to the physical body. Take a few gentle breaths, and when you feel you are ready, open your eyes.